Hello, this is Jen, and I'd like to welcome you back to another Mindfulness Monday. And today I'd like to um, connect the settling the mind that we did two weeks ago and the grounding in the body that we looked at last week and start to connect these things together to create the foundation of our mindfulness practice. So we're going to settle our minds together and we're going to ground ourselves in our bodies and we're going to just rest for a moment, just doing nothing, just being. And then because it is the tendency of the mind not only to have the capacity to settle but also to get distracted, we are going to bring in the support of sound to help us get back to our focus, our mindful focus. So I'm going to um, ring the mindful bell and I invite you to practice along with me. So starting to feel your feet against the ground, the floor, perhaps imagining these roots growing from the soles of your feet right into the earth. Noticing all the parts of your body that are in contact with whatever you are sitting or lying on. And start to notice your posture. Notice your body. Really feeling your body being supported by whatever you're sitting or lying on. Feel supported by the floor. See if you can just relax your shoulders a little bit and just soften and open the chest, relaxing the neck. Imagining if you're sitting that there is a thread coming from the crown of your head and you're just imagining that it's being pulled up slightly and it's just helping you to grow. It really helps us to align ourselves and centre ourselves as we move through the practice, dropping out of that head space that can get so busy. We've talked about the hamster wheel or the snow globe. And just starting to settle the mind. and gathering the attention into the breath and starting to follow the breath as it enters the nostrils, following it into the body, noticing the, how the breath feels, how the air feels as it enters the body, as it brushes against the nostrils. Maybe it feels cool. Maybe it doesn't, just noticing how it feels and following the breath into the body and then just allowing the breath to leave the body. The body knows how to breathe out. You can just let it happen. And just continuing to follow the in-breath and release the out breath. The breathing should be gentle. You shouldn't particularly hear the in breath and the out breath. And if you haven't already closed your eyes, you can choose what feels best. Maybe you'd like to close down the eyes, the eyelids, relaxing the eyes and turning 
the attention softly inside. Or maybe you'd just like to soften the gaze, sort of half close the eyelids and just really kind of soften the gaze, just like you're sort of trying to see all the peripheral vision so that we're not focusing on anything. Letting that concentration drop. That helps us to access that part of our nervous system that switches on the relaxation response. Takes us out of threat state. Helps us settle the mind. And again, following the breath in. And releasing the breath. And just becoming aware that thoughts will pop up and that's completely normal. And whenever that happens, just gently bringing the attention back to the breath. It's a bit like training a puppy. Our attention gets curious, a thought pops up, it thinks, oh, I'm going to go and investigate that thought. We're just gently bringing it back. And now we start to bring our attention into the sensations in the body, the physical sensations, the feelings in the body. And we can do that firstly by coming back to all the parts of our body that are in contact with whatever we're sitting or lying on. So coming back to your feet noticing your feet, feeling your feet, maybe wiggling your toes if you're wearing shoes or slippers or socks, just wiggling your toes and really feeling your feet against the ground. Noticing whether your feet might feel cool or warm. Maybe imagining these roots again, if it helps you. If it doesn't, don't worry feeling all the parts of the body that are in contact with the chair or the cushion or whatever you're sitting or lying on. And then scanning up through the body and just noticing any parts of the body that feel different, comfortable, uncomfortable, and just notice, notice whatever comes up. And maybe if there's a particular area that feels a bit uncomfortable, you could for a moment just direct your breath to that area, breathing into that area and breathing out from that area. And doing that until the area feels a bit less intense or it's not attracting your attention so much. And now imagining that you've got a balloon inside your tummy and you might want to put your hands on your tummy to feel this. And as you breathe in, you just imagine that you're inflating that balloon. So you breathe in and you inflate the balloon. And as you release the breath, the balloon just deflates. Continuing to breathe in and inflate the balloon. And release the breath and feel the tummy just falling back, deflating. And one last time with your hands on your tummy, breathing in feeling the balloon inflating, feeling your hands expanding, tummy expanding. And as you release the breath, just feel the hands coming back in towards the body. And now see if you can start to slow down the in-breath. So maybe you're breathing in for a count of three. And then breathing out for a count of three. So you're still breathing into the balloon in the tummy and now you're breathing in and out for
for a count of three. Tuning in to the body, tuning in to the inner state. And now breathing in for a count of four. Breathing out for a count of four. And just noticing how the body responds to that. Continuing to breathe in for a count of four, but see if you can breathe in more smoothly. Breathing out for a count of four more smoothly. Connecting with your soothing rhythm breathing. And maybe trying to breathe in for a count of five. Breathing out for a count of five. And just notice how this feels. And then choosing the best length for you, whether it's breathing in for a count of three or four or five. Do whatever feels best. Do whatever your body responds to. Your body will let you know what your soothing rhythm breathing is. And again, just noticing when you get distracted because thoughts will pop up. That's what happens in our minds. And then the moment you notice the distraction, the curious puppy, you bring your attention back to the breath back to the present moment, back to the body, and you experience that resting, that quality of resting that our mind and our body can experience. Maybe if it's only for a second, that's okay. The mind has got a tendency to rest like still water on a loch with no wind. And it also has a tendency to get distracted. So just noticing that moment of rest, that ability that our minds have to rest, to settle and to rest. And to be open to your experience in the present moment. But when we start getting distracted, we are going to open out our awareness and we're going to start listening to, to sound. We're going to start listening for sound. We're going to start listening for sound in the room, outside the room, on the street, just opening yourself up to receiving sound. Maybe listening to sounds and listening to the space between the sounds. Noticing that there will be some sounds that um, you like and other sounds that you like less. Some sounds might be neutral. Just noticing how you feel about sounds and as much as possible seeing if you can avoid judging yourself for that. Really welcoming whatever experience you have in the present moment. As you open up your senses really to take in sound and the whole soundscape around you. Using sound as an anchor for your awareness, allowing the sound to hold your attention. And just noticing the sound of the bell 
as you take it in to your awareness. Just gradually bringing your attention back into the body, resting on the breath, feeling your feet, feeling your hands, adjusting your toes, adjusting your fingers, giving yourself a quick shrug. If you have your eyes closed, preparing to open your eyes and finally opening your eyes and give yourself a smile. Thank you for practicing with me again today and I will see you next time for another Mindfulness Monday.